liked us. Alan Schwartz is high-fiving staff on his way to the gym. Alicia Bates. <laughs> high-fiving students and staff as she walks to the gym. Emily Sanchez Vasquez says thank you. High five students and staff. Deborah Bunjariri is high fiving on both sides of the sidewalk, students and staff. Salazar is behind Deborah. Also high-fiving students and staff on both sides of the sidewalk. Jasmine German walking down the sidewalk, high-fiving staff and students, waving. waves to the camera. Julio Romo Perez walks down the sidewalk high-fiving students and staff. Staff cheer for Julio as he walks past. Stands and looks at the camera. High fives, Principal Kristen Huddleston and Jamie Rubel. Eva Siscoto Navarro, high fives, staff. Eddie Ramirez Garcia is high fiving staff and students on both sides, just has his hands outstretched and high fiving everyone as he passes. Jacob Hancock is walking down the sidewalk towards the gym. Staff and students cheer. Principal Lugo fixes Jacob's tassel. Marie Padilla comes down the sidewalk walking. High fiving students and staff on both sides of the sidewalk. She waves at the camera as she passes. Adriana Isis. High fiving students and staff on both sides of the sidewalk. All the staff and students are cheering, applauding. She waves 
waves at the camera as she passes. Gideon Niamis walking down, high-fiving everyone on both sides of the sidewalk. Big smile on his face, gives a big wave to the camera as he passes. Jackson Johnston walking down, high-fiving staff. Braden Martinez walking from Adams through the staff and students. Everyone's applauding and cheering for him. Lacey Kern is waving at everyone in the crowd, high-fiving, staff and students waving, <laughs> big smile. Just waving at the camera and all the staff and students. Lacey stops to wave at the camera. Go to school for the deaf and the blind on the screen. 2022 graduation. On screen, computer generated image of the sun setting behind the Rocky Mountains. Fireworks light up the darkened sky. Computer generated image of a bulldog head blinks and appears to be chomping. Under the bulldog reads CSTV class of 2022. Bulldog blinks again, and the screen now shows Juan Aurelio, Colorado Springs. Baby picture of Juan. The Mickey Mouse doll heads into a picture of Juan as a senior. Juan looks at the camera while sitting on the steps of a building. John Luis Balatas, Firestone, picture of John Luis as a child looking at the camera, fades into a current picture of John Luis looking at the camera with someone's arm around him. Alicia Bates, Florence, baby picture of Alicia sitting up with a crown of flowers on her head, fades into a current picture of Alicia smiling and sitting in between a brick building and stone pillars. Deborah Bunjariri, Denver, picture of Deborah as a child standing in front of a brick building fades into a current picture of Deborah smiling at the camera in front of a building. Jasmine Drummond, Highlands Ranch, picture of Jasmine as a child wearing glasses, painting a paper with her hands, one hand is red, one hand is green, fades into a picture of Jasmine sitting on the grass wearing a white dress. Ivis Escoto Navarro, Aurora, baby picture of Ivis sitting in the grass wearing overalls fades into a current picture of Ivis looking at the camera standing next to stone pillars. Jacob Hancock, Woodland Park, picture of Jacob as a child smiling at the camera with a man smiling behind him fades into a current picture of Jacob wearing a football uniform and helmet on the football field pointing off into the distance. Adriana Isis, Parachute, baby picture of Adriana in a red and white Christmas outfit with Santa hat holding white ball fades into a current picture of Adriana posing sideways looking at the camera with a hand on her hip in a blue dress. Jackson Johnston, Dolores, close-up picture of Jackson as a baby in someone's arms looking at the camera fades into a current picture of Jackson wearing a gray hat looking off into the distance with trees behind him. Lacey Kern, Colorado Springs, a close-up picture of Lacey as a baby with dark blue eyes fades into a current picture of Lacey sitting and smiling at the camera with grass, trees, and red rocks behind her. Brayden Martinez, Craig, a picture of Brayden as a child touching a tree's branches with snow on the ground behind him fades into a current picture of Brayden standing and smiling while holding an American flag outstretched behind him. Gideon Niami, Aurora, a picture of Gideon as a child smiling at the camera wearing a collared white shirt with a vest standing next to a car fades into a current picture of Gideon looking at the camera wearing a purple patterned button-up shirt. Marie Padilla, Colorado Springs. Picture of Marie as a child looking at the camera signing I love you fades into a current picture of Marie looking off into the distance smiling with the sun shining on her face. Jonah Rayford, Canyon City. Baby picture of someone holding Jonah. He is wearing a blue and green plaid hat fades into a current picture of Jonah standing next to a tree with his arms crossed smiling at the camera. Eddie Ramirez Garcia, Fort Morgan, picture of Eddie as a child wearing a sombrero sitting on a toy horse looking at the camera, fades into a current picture of Eddie standing next to a building smiling at the camera. 
Julio Romo Perez, Warland, Wyoming. A picture of Julio as a young teenager smiling at the camera with a blue backdrop leads into a current picture of Julio smiling at the camera wearing a shirt that says Senior Class 2022. Ethan Salazar, Pueblo West. Toddler picture of Ethan with curly hair smiling at the camera sitting at the table fades into a current picture of Ethan in front of a lake smiling up at the camera. Emily Sanchez Vasquez, Denver. Picture of Emily as a child wearing a green fairy dress smiling at the camera fades into a current picture of Emily sitting on a bench in front of trees looking at the camera. Talon Schwartz, Colorado Springs. Baby picture of Talon being held up in the air by someone smiling fades into a current picture, close-up picture of Talon standing next to stone pillars, smiling. Cheyenne Toga Trujillo, Colorado Springs. Current picture of Cheyenne wearing a button-up shirt and tie, smiling big at the camera with the brick building and bright green bushes behind him, fades into another current picture of Cheyenne in front of trees and a different brick building. Screen transitions to computer-generated image of a dimming sky with the sun setting behind the mountain range as fireworks begin bursting into the now darkened sky. Here's to scroll up to the opening image of the bulldog face class of 2022 under it. The screen shows the CSDB emblem with 2022 graduation under it. Graduates are led into the gym by two junior class students, Daisy Martin and Mariah Gonzalez. Seniors enter the gym one by one through the south doors of the gym. They are greeted by interim superintendent Tara Wilkins at the entrance. Juan Aurelio. Everyone in the crowd stands and applauds. Yeah. Cheyenne Toga Trujillo taps the bulldog at the entrance and enters the gym. John Luis Balactas touches the bulldog and enters the gym. Talon Schwartz jumps up to pat the bulldog into the gym. Alicia Bates jumps to touch the bulldog and walks into the gym. Emily Sanchez Vasquez touches the bulldog's paw and walks in. Deborah Bunjariri touches the bulldog and walks in. Ethan Salazar gives interim superintendent. Tara Wilkins a big hug, poses for a picture. Touches the bulldog, comes in. Jasmine German jumps high to touch the bulldog. Julio Romo Perez touches the bulldog, poses for a picture, and walks in. Eva Siscoto Navarro poses for a picture and touches the bulldog and walks in. Eddie Ramirez Garcia touches the bulldog's paw, waves, and walks in. Jacob Hancock poses for a picture at the entrance. And walks in. Marie Padilla touches the bulldog's paw, smiles and walks in. Adriana Isis poses for a picture, touches the bulldog's paw, and walks in. Gideon Niami poses for a picture, touches the bulldog, and walks in. Jackson Johnson touches the bulldog's paw, poses for a picture, and walks in. Brayden 
Margarita Martinez smiles and walks in. Lacey Kern poses for a picture, touches the bulldog paw and walks in. Interim Superintendent Tara Wilkins and Principals Jamie Lugo and Kristen Huddleston enter the gym and walk to the stage. Along with Dr. Paul Foster and Dr. Michelle Samuels. Everyone starts to begin to take their seats. Jamie Lugo and Kristen Huddleston sit at the back of the stage with Dr. Paul Foster of Colorado Department of Education and Dr. Michelle Samuels of the CSDB Board of Trustees. Tara Wilkins approaches the front of the stage. Please stand for the national anthem. Alicia Bates and Ethan Salazar approach the stage. Alicia, Alicia will Bates anthem, will be singing and signed by Ethan Salazar. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in. that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave or the land of the free and the home of the exit the stage as Tara Wilkins comes back to the front of the stage. Please be seated. Welcome to the 2022 graduation commencement. It is my great honor to be part of leading the graduation ceremonies for our graduating class. As I often say, no one person is responsible for the success of our students. It takes a village, and I thank each of you. First, I would like to recognize parents. Please stand up. Parents stand in the crowd. You have been there since day one, supporting your child up until today to celebrate your child's success, but we also want to celebrate you for the support that you have given your child. Thank you, parents. <laughs> CSDB staff, no please stand, please stand.
<laughs> All of the staff stand in the crowd. The staff here at CSDB, I know it's been a challenge with COVID and numerous other challenges. You all have persevered. I thank you for that. Thank you to all of you. It doesn't matter. Teachers, dorm, cafeteria staff, security, it doesn't matter. All of you are essential in supporting our students. So thank you. CSDB community, that is alum, the blind community, the deaf community, or business partners, or CSDB community, thank you for all the support that you have given to our students as well. I am thrilled to see so many people in the audience here today. It's been a long time to see this gymnasium filled, so I thank you for your continued support. Seniors, graduating is an exciting time. And I've asked you many times over this last week, how you feeling, how you doing? Many of you said you're nervous, very nervous. It's okay to be. I've told you that I am as well. This is my first time facilitating a graduation ceremony, so I am as well. So you will do amazing things. Graduation is the, the end of your high school career, but understand it's also the beginning of your future. I do know that each of you will be successful. Each of you are really not the same. You're very unique and have your own gifts, your own personalities, your different interesting qualities that you each have and your uniqueness, and your journey will be different in life. Some of you have started young here in elementary school and joined CSDB. Some of you maybe just came this year. We have a wide variety of you, but it doesn't matter when you started here at CSDB. And your future will not be the same as well. You will have your own journeys. So it doesn't matter when you started. I hope that you still have great memories of CSDB. Hope you come back and visit us. And maybe some of you will return maybe to work here. You decide your destiny. You decide your future. And I know each of you will be successful. I am confident in that. Today, I would like the opportunity to recognize some of our Board of Trustees members that are present. And if I overlook someone, please let me know. First of all, I would like to recognize Walter. Walter Von Felt, please stand. Walter. Walter. Waves. And just FYI, Walter, um, has been committed eight years to supporting our Board of Trustees here at CSDB. His term will be completed shortly, so thank you for the amazing year, eight years that you have given us, Walter. Next, I would like to recognize Martin Bercera Miranda. Martin, Martin. are you here? Yeah. Fabulous. Stands in the crowd and waves. Thank you for your support, Martin. Uh, I also believe uh, Megan Clausen is here. Can you please stand? Megan stands in way. Thank you, Megan. Next, we were supposed to have a few comments from Dr. Paul Foster. 
but apparently something occurred while he was driving here. His car broke down, so he was unable to get here. Um, I'm, he told me to tell all of you sorry that he had car problems on his drive here, so my apologies from him. Now I would like to introduce Dr. Michelle Samuels to make a few comments. She is also one of our Board of Trustees members, and if you can please say a few comments. Carol Wilkins, as Dr. Michelle Samuels approaches the podium. Good morning, everyone. Hello, CSDB family. I am Dr. Michelle Samuels, and on the behalf of the Board of Trustees of the Colorado School for the Deaf and the Blind, it is my distinct pleasure to congratulate the class of 2022 on a job well done. Congratulations. You inspire us through your strength, uh, your courage, leadership, optimism, good humor, sense of community, intellectual curiosity, focus and motivation. You have consistently demonstrated these qualities while at CSDB, and they will serve you well after CSDB. We honor you, we respect you, and we congratulate you for your stellar achievements at CSDB. Thank you for all your hard work and best luck um, in the future endeavors. Go Bulldogs. Thank you. Dr. Michelle Samuels takes a seat at the back of the stage and Tara Wilkins approaches the front of the stage. Thank you, Dr. Samuels. I'd also like to say that Dr. Samuels has completed her eight years of service to our Board of Trustees. So I would like to recognize that as well. Thank you for all you've done. Thank you. Now it is my great pleasure to introduce our senior class speaker. This young man came to CSDB in fifth grade. He has always has a smile on his face. Never fails. You always see him with a smile. He cares about staff. He cares about other students. Such a big heart. I know he will do amazing things in his future, so please, Welcome, Ethan Salazar. Ethan Salazar approaches the stage. Hello, everyone. I want to thank everyone for their time in coming to our graduation ceremony. It is really a special day for all of us seniors, including myself. I remember the day that I enrolled in CSDB. It was fifth grade, 2014. I thought that the world was a small place. However, throughout my years here at CSDB, my mind has expanded so much. I realize the world is bigger than I thought. I'm sure the rest of you current seniors feel the same way. Our experience here at CSDB is going to feel a part of our lives. The only way we'll truly be satisfied to do what we believe is great work and experiences for the rest of our life. I realize that this journey here at CSDB has been incredibly amazing for me and the other seniors too. No matter what happened, we have the peace of mind 
knowing that the chatter and the doubt just, is just noise. It does not define us, and it doesn't change our lives. We have learned in school we cannot do it alone. We have to live in the moment. We have to make sure the people around us have our back and give us what we need to make the choices that impact our lives and future. I want to thank all of the teachers for teaching us how to think deeper, more creative ideas, Learning how to think really means learning how to be more aware, to choose what we pay attention to. And to choose how we build our experiences. We cannot practice that kind of thinking in adult life. We have to learn from our mistakes. We have to learn from our mistakes and grow from that. There are two statements that I want to share with all of you, seniors, and hope that you put these words into heart and remember. First of all, first of all is to work hard and to be kind, which will lead to amazing things happening in your life. I want to say to all of you seniors, congratulations, class of 2022. Good luck on your journey. Thanks for listening. Nathan exits the stage and returns to a seat. Dr. or Ms. Tara Wilkins comes back to the front of the stage. Now it is my great honor to introduce our senior class of 22, 22 valedictorian. This young woman transferred to CSTB five years ago. The minute our staff met her, we all knew the future held big things for her. She is a natural born leader. She was our SBG president. She established and led our after-school Bible club and helped start up the Bulldog Bark, a student store. Please help me in welcoming Alicia Bates. Alicia Bates approaches the stage. Tara Wilkins takes a seat at the back of the stage. <laughs> Alicia Bates is at the podium. Wow. All right, congratulations. We survived. <laughs> the first chapter of our life is now over, and we're waiting for our next one. But now the pen is being handed to us. It's time for us to write our own stories. Your life's book may be one full of adventure or perhaps one of mystery. No matter the content, these are our stories and we need to make them count. I can tell you that my story is going to make a difference for other people. I'm gonna change the world for the better. The theme of my story is going to be to share the love of God with others. <laughs> what will yours be? Now, before we leave to write our stories, I have some advice for you, senior class of 2022. My advice for you is to remember what we've learned here. And not just like the math and English things that we've been taught, because honestly, if we forget those, we can just Google it. <laughs> but rather, remember the perseverance that we have learned here. 
like how we continued to work hard despite circumstances in the midst of a pandemic. In order for us to truly make a difference in the world, we're going to have to work extremely hard. I don't know if you've noticed, but our world is broken. Now it's our turn to try and fix it. In order to do this, we are going to have to endure the hardness and persevere through the trials. Not only do we need to remember how to persevere, but also we need to remember the fun. Do not forget those precious moments with your friends. Remember jumping into the piles of leaves and the snowball fights. Remember the conversations at lunch and how I would whoop all y'all in Connect Four and Uno. <laughs> Do not forget, because these moments, they're what have made us into who we are today. So as we leave this place, don't forget what we've learned. Okay, so now for you younger classmen, I also have some advice for you. So one day, very soon, you're going to be the one standing up here. My advice is for you to enjoy your time here. It will go by so quickly. It seems like just yesterday, I was just this little freshman. <laughs> I remember watching the upperclassmen and being terrified of them because they just seemed so very old and wise. <laughs> but now that I'm a senior, um, I feel very old, but I don't feel very wise. <laughs> so enjoy your time here while it lasts. It will go by in the blink of an eye. Also, the greatest piece of advice I could give to you is to just be yourself. I think we all have the tendency of trying to become what our peers expect us to be. We try to fit into this mold so that we don't look different. But it's okay to stand out. It's okay to be different. It's our differentness that's going to change the world. So don't become just one of the crowd. Stand up for what you know is right and don't be afraid to. Our world doesn't need you to be like everybody else. It needs you to just be you. Now I would like to take a moment to thank everyone who has helped me make it to today. And I'm probably gonna start crying, so. <laughs> Mom and Dad. Thank you for always supporting me. Thank you for having high expectations of me yet still being proud of me when I couldn't meet them. Thank you for caring more about my character and who I'm becoming than my grades or accomplishments. I would also like to thank all of my teachers. I know that you don't have a very easy job. You invest a lot of time and work into us. So we are going to go out there and we're gonna change the world and we're going to make you so very proud of us so that all of that time and work will have been worth it. Finally, I would like to publicly thank God. I know that all that I am and will ever become is because of you. I don't think I could have accomplished all that I have without you. 
I know that you put me here for a reason. Now my time is up and you've planned for me somewhere else. Thank you for including this place and these people in your plan for my life. Thank you to everyone who has helped make us into the people that we are. All right, guys. <laughs> now it's time for us to go and write our stories. Congratulations. Guys, we did it. The audience begins to stand and clap as Alicia exits the stage and Kara Wilkins returns to the front of the stage. Everyone takes their seats. Wow, that was heart touching. Nice speech, Alicia. Now our amazing Bulldog Band will perform a song by the name of The Climb. We will have Mariah Gonzalez signing. Mariah Gonzalez approaches the stage. You can also see her on the big screen behind the stage. Bulldog Band is to the north of the gym.
Now it is my great honor to introduce our guest speaker this morning. Her name is Yolanda Avila. She is on the Colorado Springs City Council. So please, welcome Yolanda. Thank you. Is this on? <laughs> Thank you all so very much. I cannot tell you how touched I am with this ceremony. Uh, I, you can feel it. The love and support in this room for our graduating seniors, all 20 of them, congratulations. You have made it. And to listen to the music, but I'm going to add to surviving, thriving, and succeeding, however that looks for you. It's such an honor and a privilege to be here today. My name is Yolanda Avila, and I grew up here in Colorado Springs from the age of three years old. I was not born blind or deaf, but I grew up here around the Colorado Springs Deaf and Blind School and engaged in different areas, whether it was sports. I uh, used to watch the boys club come and wrestle with the, the guys here. Uh, it was really interesting. Came to a lot of functions here. The Deaf and Blind School has been a really important part of Colorado Springs, our beloved city that's so beautiful and that was planned out by General Palmer. In 2021, we celebrated our sesquicentennial, and that's 150 years of, of the city. And I see that you were built in 1874, and your sesquicentennial is coming up very, very soon. I wanted to let you know a little bit about my journey. And um, so I grew up here, went to different high schools, and I, I mean, high schools. Uh, I'm a military brat, so when my mom saw the peak, she said, this is our home plate base. This is where we're going to stay. So we would travel different uh, states, but we'd always come back to Colorado Springs. It was, you know, our home. During that time, I, I went to Pikes Peak Community College, and then ultimately I graduated from Colorado College. After leaving college, I um, went to California. I was having a really tough time finding a job here, and at that time I did have my vision and uh, hearing, so I went there and I actually landed the job of my dreams. I was a criminal defense investigator, uh, CSI, the stuff that people you know watch TV about, and uh, I loved it. I really loved it. Halfway through that period of 21 years, I was diagnosed uh, with retinitis pigmentosa. And I don't know if some of you have that here, but it's uh, prognosis is blindness. And what I didn't know, I didn't know of a world that supported, there were some parts of the cities and towns that did support and provide uh, ADA accommodations, but so many didn't. And so as I transitioned to blindness, I, I started to use public transportation and walk a lot. And so, and eventually I got my dog. So right ne next to me is my guide dog, Puma. And he's just looking at all of you thinking you guys are pretty great. So I, uh, it was great though in, in California because every sidewalk was walkable. Transit went every 15, 20 minutes. Uh, in all directions. So I was able to make that transition. And I'm going to say, when I first uh, encountered blindness, I thought, what the heck am I going to do? Because I had plans. And I kind of talked to God and said, what the heck? I worked really hard. And this is, you know, this wasn't in the plan. But as I got my tools, right, my, my skills and my tools, uh, you know, on the computer, use, initially using a cane, uh, just using every tool that I could, I, I saw that there was a whole new world that opened up for me. 
it was amazing. And I saw that I could still serve my community. And I continued to work there until I retired in, tw in 2011 to be next to my mom. My mom was gonna turn 90 and I wanted to be close to her. Uh, and so I came here, but what happened? What did I see? Buses were only running Monday through Friday. And if um, there are sidewalks, most of them were not, they were in disrepair. And I thought, what happened to my city? And moreover, what happened to the district I represent? I represent District 4, which is the southeast part of town. And so I got to work. And I started to go to city council meetings. And I started to go to the PPRTA, which is the Pikes Peak Rural Transit Authority, who handles the money. There's a one cent tax. They handle the money for transportation, our roads, our bridges, our sidewalks. They handle the money for transit. And we pay that one cent tax. And I thought, we need to get our fair share and make sure that we start building. So I saw that I could do something. And within that time, uh, three years, I worked on organizing for transit in the uh, Community Transit Coalition. And it took us three years, but we got buses seven days a week and evenings. And I, I share that with you because I want you to know that the power that you have when you live up to your full potential. We know, we know, and I felt it, that people hold our expectations and they lower the standard for us. And we can have no part of that. We know what we're capable of. Yes, we need support in er certain areas. We need those tools to guide us. So when I thought I could do that on city council, I mean I could do that as a citizen, a blind citizen, I thought what else could I do? So I ran for city council. And the first time I ran, I ran in 2015, and I had my dog, uh, there was six men to my right and six men to my left. I was the only woman and I was the only blind person with a dog. And I studied the wrong questions that, time, that day of the forum. And I, uh, there was a, two pages and I only scanned one page. And so the, I had to just ad lib it, right? Just, to answer it, but I did horrible. I just, I bombed that sucker. And so I was like, I, uh, I thought, I'm gonna quit. This is just too hard for me. Uh, this is just, th what am I doing? What do I think? What do I think I can do this? What is wrong with me? And I went to complain to, um, I was working on a project with the Council of Neighborhoods and Organizations. And the director of the time was Dave Munger. And he would just shake his head up and down and it's like, yeah, I know it's a, so I was telling him my pity story and how hard it was and he goes, yeah, mm -hmm. but you have to go on. You have to continue. And so I did. And I said, I, I placed out of like 14, I placed like nine in that. And I did get some name recognition. But what did I do What all of you are going to do? Whatever that looks like for you. I went to take a class in how to run for office for six months in Denver. I got all the tools and surrounded myself with people that knew how to do it. I talked to other elected officials and said, okay, how, how, how do I do it? What are your, what's your feedback? What are your recommendations? And I did that and I went the next two years later in 2017 against an incumbent. That's really hard to do. And somebody else that was given, before her name was on the ballot, $20,000. And so you have to raise a lot of money for a campaign. And I won. And it was a feeling that I cannot explain to anyone. But it was such a feeling of success, I did it, and this is why I'm on this planet. This has been the plan all along, to serve my community and to make sure those that with varying abilities are included in it. So that is gonna be your task. Now in city council, we didn't even have live captioning, if you could believe that. 
and we were able to attain that. I've been a constant voice. Our city hall has been become much more access accessible. We are getting ADA ramps throughout the entire city. Pretty soon, uh, we are going in all our intersections, put the tweets so those are blind can cross much more safely. And I, I never really in my life thought that I would ever be able to do that. But I'm gonna say that is like, stepping into your power. A lot of people use uh, uh, empowered, but I think who am I to empower you? You already have the, empower, the power inside of you. You only need to step into it. So as you move forward, it is gonna be tough in certain situations, and uh, but you will succeed in that. And it's going to be tough leaving here, right? Some of you are like saying, okay, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm done. You know, for the last month, it's like, I want to get out there, I want to explore the world. And at the same time, it's bittersweet, right? You've made so many friends here, even with staff members, with teachers, with everybody here. And I know you have your besties here. And there's some besties that are going to still be uh, juniors and sophomores. So, um, you have, I, I know you've heard this, the world is your oyster, but I am so very proud of this graduating class 2022. And uh, to know that in this last century and a half, you, this school has survived two pandemics, right? We're all survivors, we're veterans of the COVID pandemic, a, a burn building, and you just keep uh, moving forward. And it's up to you. It's, I charge you all to keep the faith, to keep moving forward, and I just, the love I feel in this room, and my hats are off to all the parents and all the support that you've all received, and please feel free to call on me. I am here for you, and with that, congratulations. Go Bulldogs! Miss Yolanda Avila, takes your seat back at the, back of the stage. Ms. Tara Wilkins approaches the front of the stage. Are you ready, seniors? How you feeling? Okay. These seniors have completed their requirements for graduation and are now ready to receive their diplomas. By the power vested in me by the state of Colorado, I pronounce the following seniors graduated from the Colorado School for the Deaf and Blind, class of 2020, 2022. Principals Jamie Lugo and Kristen Husmanson take their place at the front of stage. Principal Jamie Lugo will take over audio description. Juan Luis Areola. Colorado Springs. Juan is approaching the stage. He's faced south. He's shaking Yolanda's hand. He's shaking Michelle's hand. Receiving his diploma from Miss Tara Wilkins and giving her a hug. Also giving a hug to Miss Huddleston and a big hug to, to me. <laughs> and he's stepping forward. Tassel from right to left. Congratulations. John Luis Balagtas, Firestone. John Luis is approaching the stage, headed south, up the stairs. He's shaking Yolanda's hand and Michelle's hand, also Miss Tara's hand, and receiving his diploma. Shaking Miss Huddleston's hand, shaking my hand, and stepping forward, tassel from right to left, and gives a wave to the crowd. Our 2022 valedictorian, Alessia Juline Bates, Florence. <laughs> Alessia is approaching the stage. She's shaking the hand of Yolanda, Miss Michelle, receiving her diploma from Miss Tara in one of her two hands, giving her a hug. Stepping forward to see Miss Huddleston, giving her a hug. 
she better give me a hug. <laughs> so proud of you. And she's stepping forward to the corner of the stage. Tassel from right to left. And a big smile, she exits the stage. Deborah Boonjiriri, Denver. Deborah's approaching the stage, walking up the steps south. She's shaking the hand of Yolanda, also the hand of Michelle. Walking forward, giving a wave to Miss Tara, accepting her diploma and giving her a hug. Next on to Mrs. Huddleston, big hug. <laughs> And she's stepping forward to the corner of the stage, tassel from right to left, an I love you sign above her head. Jasmine Phoenix Lime Drummond, Highlands Ranch. Jasmine's walking up the steps. She's shaking Yolanda's hand. She's shaking Michelle's hand with a big smile on her face, giving Miss Tara a hug, accepting her diploma. <laughs> She's giving Miss Huddleston a hug. She's giving me a hug. Oh, so proud of you. <laughs> she's coming up to the front corner of the stage, tassel from right to left, and she's bowing to the crowd. Elvis Alejandro Escoto Navarro, Aurora. Elvis is approaching the stage. He's shaking Yolanda's hand, Michelle's hand, accepting his diploma from Miss Tara Wilkins, giving her a hug, <laughs> giving Miss Huddleston a hug as well. <laughs> Can I have a hug? All right. <laughs> And to the corner of the stage, tassel from right to left, an I love you sign. <laughs> Jacob Lee Hancock, Woodland Park. <laughs> Jacob's approaching the stage, shaking Yolanda's hand, shaking Michelle's hand, shaking Miss Tara Wilkins' hand, accepting his diploma. Also shaking Miss Huddleston's hand. Can I hug? Giving me a big hug. Oh my gosh, he's like <laughs> He's pretty strong. He's up to the corner of the stage, tassel from right to left. He's exiting the stage. He pointed to the sky at his dad. Adriana Mercedes Isais, Greeley. Adriana's approaching the stage. She's walking up the steps, shaking Yolanda's hand, shaking Michelle's hand, accepting her diploma for Miss Tara Wilkins, giving her a hug. Miss Huddleston's clapping for her, giving her a big hug. <laughs> Congratulations. Stepping to the corner of the stage, tassel from right to left, and she waves to the crowd. Jackson Raleigh Johnston, Dolores. Jackson's shaking Yolanda's hand, shaking Michelle's hand, shaking Miss Tara Wilkins' hand, a little hug. <laughs> Big hug to Miss Huddleston, congratulations. And he's approaching the front of the stage, tassel from right to left, and an I love you sign. Lacey J. Kern, Colorado Springs. <laughs> Jace, Lacey's walking up the steps, shaking Yolanda's hand. She's shaking Michelle's hand and giving Michelle a hug. <laughs> She's accepting her diploma, giving Miss Tara Wilkins a big hug. Dropped her diploma, but don't worry, it's all good. Picked it back up. Here's Miss Huddleston with a hug. I'm here for a hug. Oh, so proud of you. Okay, what are you doing right? Stepping forward, tassel from, we're gonna help her get that. She's putting her hat back on, it's all good. Her hat's real cool. Moving her tassel. 
Let's do it again. There, right to left. She's bowing to the crowd. Great job, Lise. Braden, Perry, Martinez, Craig. Braden's approaching the stage, walking up the steps, shaking Yolanda's hand, shaking Miss Michelle's hand, now shaking Miss Tara Wilkins' hand and accepting his diploma. Here's Miss Huddleston next, shaking your hand or giving her a hug either way, and Mia better get a hug. He's picking me up, okay. <laughs> to the sh front corner of the stage, right to left tassel. Braden exits the stage. Gideon Miami, Aurora. Gideon's approaching the stage. I don't want to lose. Gideon's walking up the steps. Shaking Yolanda's hand. Gideon's shaking Michelle's hand. Gideon's accepting his diploma, shaking Miss Tara Wilkins' hand, giving her a hug. Giving Mrs. Huddleston a huge hug. Picking her up now. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> and walking to the corner of the stage. Oh, he's dancing. I don't know how to describe that, but he's dancing. Tassel from right to left and a wave to the crowd. Marie Rosa Padilla, Colorado Springs. Marie's approaching the stage. She's walking up the steps. She's got these really cool roses on the top of her cap. Shaking Yolanda's hand, shaking Michelle's hand, accepting her diploma from Miss Tara Wilkins. Giving Miss Huddleston a big hug. Walking to the corner of the stage, tassel right to left, and I love you sign. Our 2022 salutatorian, Jonah Shafe Rayford, Canyon City. Eddie Despar Ramirez Garcia, Fort Morgan. Eddie's approaching the stage, walking up the steps, shaking Yolanda's hand, shaking Miss Michelle's hand, accepting his diploma from Miss Tara Wilkins, giving her a hug, giving Miss Huddleston a big hug. <laughs> Approaching the front of the stage, tassel right to left, and a wave. Julio Daniel Romo Perez, Warland, Wyoming. Julio's approaching the stage. Walking south up the steps. He's shaking the hand of Yolanda. Moving forward, shaking the hand of Michelle. Next, he's got Miss Tara Wilkins accepting his diploma, shaking her hand, giving her a hug. And Miss Huddleston is next. He would love a hug. <laughs> Big hug. Congratulations. Julio approaches the front of the stage. He's moving his tassel. And he's giving an I love you sign to the crowd. Ethan James Salzar, Pueblo West. Ethan's approaching the stage. He's walking up the steps, shaking Yolanda's hand, shaking Miss Michelle's hand. Shaking Miss Tara Wilkins' hand, giving her a hug. Giving a big hug to Miss Huddleston. Thank you. 
approaching the front of the stage, moving his tassel from right to left, and a big wave. Emily Sanchez Vasquez, Denver. <laughs> Emily's approaching the stage. She's walking up the steps south. She's shaking the hand of Yolanda, also the hand of Miss Michelle, accepting her diploma for Miss Tara Wilkins, giving her a hug. Big hug to Miss Huddleston. Congratulations. And she's stepping to the corner of the stage, moving her tassel from right to left. Her tassel came off. We're going to help her with it. Miss Huddleston's helping her put her tassel back on. It is in right position. She's facing towards the crowd. Gives a wave. Talon Shane Schwartz, Colorado Springs. <laughs> Talon's approaching the stage. Talon's walking up the steps south, shaking the hand of Yolanda, <laughs> shaking the hand of Miss Michelle, <laughs> shaking the hand of Miss Tara Wilkins and accepting his diploma. <laughs> <laughs> Shaking the hand of Miss Huddleston. And then there's Miss Lugo. Hey. <laughs> Approaching the front of the stage. He has one. Oh, his tassel came off. Hmm, but good thing he has a second tassel. All right. Oh, okay. Talon. <laughs> Shan Toga Trujillo, Colorado Springs. Shan's approaching the stage. He's walking up the steps south. He's shaking the hand of Miss Yolanda, also Miss Michelle. He's accepting his diploma from Miss Tara Wilkins. He's getting a hug from Miss Huddleston. Congratulations. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> he's approaching the front of the stage, tassel from right to left, and he's waving to the crowd. Tara Wilkins approaches the front of the stage. It's my great honor to present to you the graduates of the class of 2022. The seniors are standing up. They're throwing their caps. Oh my gosh, the crowd goes wild. Woo! Caps up in the air. Seniors are dancing. Seniors are hugging each other. They're celebrating amongst each other. Talon has his cane up in the front. All right. 